Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a 2019-2020 Panini Prism Basketball Break. It's a blaster break. 20 blaster boxes from a fresh case right there. There it is. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Now it looks like one team, one spot gets you two teams. So let's double up that list right there to make 30. And all 30 teams are in. And let's roll it and randomize it four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one, fifth and final time. After five times, we got David all the way down to a couple Gregs. Four and a one, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and a one, fifth and final time. After five times, Miami Heat down to the Denver Nuggets. All right. So David with the Heat, Greg with the Nets, Jennifer with the Hawks, Bill with the Thunder, Mark with the Rockets, Greg, you have the Raptors, Jonathan with the 76ers, Jennifer, Cavs, Blazers, and Pacers for you. Greg with the Magic. Uh, DMAC with the Suns. Bill with the Spurs. Jennifer, last spot Mojo. Kings, your other last spot Mojo. Pistons. Lewis with the Knicks. Andy with the Mavs. Mark Matheson with the Grizz. DMAC with the Clip Show. Greg with the Bucks and Celtics. David with the Pelicans. Mark with the Timberwolves and the Jazz. Lewis with the Hornets. Greg with the Wizards. Jonathan Spears, you got my Lakers. Andy with the Bulls. Greg with the Warriors and the Nuggets. Feel free to trade if you are interested. Let's sort by team. And we'll pause the video really quick to see if there's any trades. We'll come back. We'll have the break itself. All right, welcome back, everybody. A couple trade offers out there, but no trade deals got done. So that list that you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Thanks for spending a bit of your New Year's Eve with us, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it. Happy New Year to all. Scuba, what's going on? You got notice that some breaks you purchased yesterday. Nick turned uh, Nick turned 18. Uh, notice that some breaks you purchased yesterday were shipped, but you can't find the breaks on your YouTube channel. Anywhere else you should be looking. No. The YouTube channel is the only place where it would be. Sometimes this, that search function on our channel, or just YouTube in general, is a little... Uh, weird, but if you shoot us an email, jaspyscasebreaks at gmail.com, email's in the chat. If you want to email us, we'll, our team will be able to look up that video for you. Maybe find, let us know what break you were in. We can find it for you. kind of all over the place, but it's one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. There you go. There's all the boxes right there. One autograph or memorabilia card per box on average in these blasters. Good luck. Oh, right. Was it an eBay break, Scuba? If it was, that is a different channel. That channel is in your item description. I'm going to set these right up here as well. I don't have my TV on. Yeah, JMS saying there's a lot of a lot of sports action happening today. Some bowl games, some NBA, a lot of, a lot of NHL. All 
right, let's see what we got here. Good luck. We got Devin Booker hyped. Green. And PJ Tucker, silver. And Cam Reddish, relic. That'll go to the Hawks, of course. That'll be for Jennifer and Atlanta. Thomas Jamal Murray, DeAndre Hunter. All right, that was box one. Yeah, we're off tomorrow, Sean. We're off on New Year's Eve. Store in Hermosa Beach will be closed as well. And then we're back in action on Thursday. Normal hours on Thursday for the shop and for the show, the live show, live stream show. We're going to enjoy our New Year's Day. And then I think after, starting Thursday, we're pretty much back to normal. Let's go to a house party, Adam. I've got a, I've got a buddy that lives in uh, down in Orange County. We'll be at the house there, staying indoors. Staying safe. There's a, a silver Allen Samalagic. And we got Paul Millsap, the relic. Denver Nuggets with that one, Greg Darby. Green, Frank Tilakina. Those aren't numbered, but obviously they'll ship. All the rookie cards will ship. I think only veteran commons won't ship. Silver, obviously, will ship. Those are a little more especial. Kevin Porter Jr. will ship, obviously, because it's a rookie. Next Blaster. Sean, we'll be at a bar in Newport tomorrow. Uh, uh, where? What bar? Maybe we're right next to each other. Not sure if I'll be able to. Uh... AM sounds crazy. Adam's going to start watching The Witcher. I heard that's good. I've heard good things. Torrent Prince. Kobe. There's Kobe Relic. For the Lakers, that's going to go to Jonathan Spears. There's Grant Hill. Zach Levine Silver, Thaddeus Young, Darius Garland. Next blaster. Cruisers, huh? Where, where, where in the world is that? Huh. Huh. Alright, I know where that is. Well, I'll, uh, well, we'll find, I'll, I'll, I'll see how I feel in the morning. <laughs> I'll actually be just a little bit south of there, close to where the, the quiet woman is. All right, next one, Goga, Emergent, Silver. Derek Favors, Silver. And PJ Washington, Relic. For Lewis, who got randomized the Hornets in this one. 
Dylan Windler Green. And we'll sleeve all of those up so they'll get uh, they'll be top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out to you. Oh, Netflix, so that they're doing those shows weekly now. I think that's a good idea. I think, uh, you know, binge culture is good and all. But I think that really only is fun for, like, artistically speaking, I think it's only fun for, like, old shows. Like, let's binge Friends. Let's binge, like, Lost or something like that. You know, I think binging is good that way. But I think for new shows, I think you gotta you got to digest... You know, you got to digest shows. You got to chew on the show, chew on an episode, let it marinate in your head. Maybe discuss it with your friends. And, uh, you know, and then let it, uh, and then watch the next one. They're, they're doing that with The Mandalorian. It's last episode dropped last week but they did that weekly and I think that definitely was great there's Dehunta Murray and there's Zion I think that was really we're a regular grab the week just call regular top right there alright we'll set that aside but uh they did that with The Mandalorian on Disney Plus doing weekly episodes and I think it's worked out pretty nicely in terms of like discussion and and hype Grant Williams, and there's AD. Also, I think I'm just going to open up five at a time. Just, just off camera there. But I like the weekly format. I think it's good. Uh, what I what did I think of Luke uh, Malnota? I, I don't think very very highly of him, Sean. I think he's a bad guy. You know, I'm not one to pass judgment like that. No, I am one to pass judgment like that. No, he's a bad guy. I have no interest in learning more about him. <laughs> That's what I heard. I the, the Witcher Adam d definitely had a. Uh, Definitely had that Game of Thrones sort of food, which I never saw. But, you know, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings sort of aesthetic, which I think people still have an appetite for. I think there has been some speculation that if there is a brand new Star Wars trilogy, that they would explore sort of the quote-unquote ancient Jedi-Sith battle type stuff. That was like a thousand years before, before the events of A New Hope, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Before Yavin, for nerds out there. Uh, so I think that uh, I think they might explore that, which could also have a, a sort of medievally sort of vibe, but with lightsabers. So it should be interesting. Yellowstone on Paramount. I have not seen that. Is that the one? Is that the show with Kevin Costner, like the Western show with Kevin Costner, or maybe that's something else? Hmm. 
Yeah, and it's very good. I don't mind a good Western. Kevin Costner in a Western? All right. I'm into it. I think so, Adam. I, I do think that the Game of Thrones directors are already signed on to the new Star Wars trilogy. Or the produ as producers or directors, something like that. They're involved somehow. They're at least in, in, in principle. All right, so here's five boxes right here. And we've got the other, we'll do the next five and the other five in the back right over there. All right, good luck, everyone. Montrezel Harrell. Cameron Johnson, rookie silver for the Suns. And we got Kyle Lowry. Ooh, and a green Zion. There's Kyle Lowry. Raptors, that's going to go to Greg. And David Bruins, who got randomized the Pelicans. You got that base Zion earlier. And now you've got a green Zion. What do these go for? On a secondary market. A million dollars? That's nice. There's Larry Johnson. Old school, silver right there, Draymond. Purple wave. I'm just, I'll just, that's what I'm going to call it. Alfred Payton, silver. There's Dwight Powell for the Dallas Mavericks. Garrett says about a 90 to 100 bucks on that Zion green. Covers a couple spots there. David, not too bad. There's Alex Len. Michael Bridges, silver. Bruno. Miles Turner, silver. RJ Barrett. There's Jeff Teague. Timberwolves. There's Coos. Larry Nance Jr. Silver. Zach Levine, KCP. There's RJ Barrett Relic. Nice. Knicks. That's going to go to Lewis. Kayvon Looney, Landry Shamit, Larry Bird. Thomas Bryant, silver. Bradley Beal, relic. That'll be for Greg Darby and the Wizards. John Morant. Hachimura, emergent. Giannis and Luca. Luca Samanic. Not Luka Doncic. All right. Next five. You know what I do like, though? Speaking of television shows... This is not a family-friendly recommendation, but uh, Barry on HBO is, I think, quite good. And Bill Hader. As an assassin, as a hitman, trying to become an actor in L.A. 
quite quite dark, but well written, well acted. It's a great show. I don't know when the next season's coming out. See, that's the only reason why I have the H and HBO Go or whatever they call it now subscription via Amazon. You know, Jay, all this television talk was was actually kicked off by by Ray talking about The Witcher. And he's given it a shot. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard good things though. I think another friend, I think it's based off a book. I guess there's a lot of those things tend to be. All right, here's the next five. Originally, I thought when I first started seeing commercials for it, trailers for it, I was like, ah, The Witcher, it's just a, uh, it just seems like a Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings sort of ripoff, right? And someone was like, yeah, it's that vibe, it's that world, but it's that aesthetic, but it's, it's, it's a different thing. Okay, Sean's saying book, then video game series. Okay, yeah. So it is that sort of similar aesthetic, but definitely a different thing. I've heard good things. Bonilla, what's going on? Happy New Year to you too. I, I Grubhubbed it. Let me go get my wallet. Wow. All right. All right. No, maybe you can trade cars for food. If I could trade cars for food, I'd, I'd, I'd do that. I'd do that in a heartbeat. Henry Cavill, That's Superman, right? Is the uh, is the Witcher apparently? Ray is excited for Haunting of Hill House season two. That sounds that sounds way too scary for me. I mean, let's talk about when when Box Trolls two is coming out. All right, next one or next five. It's Russell Wilson. John Wall Silver. And there's Dirk Nowitzki. There's Kevin Durant Green. It's Keldon Johnson Rookie Silver. Set that aside. Jay Antonio, what brand is the one to invest in rookie card football? If there is one, like what's the Bowman draft? Like Bowman draft is for baseball? Yeah, Pris as Adam's saying, Prism is a good one. So is the Contenders that's dropping this Friday, which you can pre-order now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Seiko Demboya. Isaiah Thomas, silver. 
Harry Giles. Contenders basketball and contenders football. Justice Winslow Silver is dropping on Friday. We're going to have to stretch out our, our hands here, get hand massages afterwards perhaps. Darius Baisley. And we got Romeo Langford. Romeo, oh, Romeo. Wherefore art thou? I think he's on the injured list, actually. Greg Darby with the Celtics. Kobe, green. Tory Craig, silver for the Nuggets. Nice Tyler Hero. Are these exclu I think these might be exclusive to the to the blaster set, if I'm not mistaken. David Bruins with the Miami Heat. David, you have the Pelicans and the Heat. It's not too shabby. Kyle Guy, Silver. And Kevin McHale, autograph, penmanship auto for the Celtics, Greg Darby. Avi saying, yes, they are exclusive to the Blasters. Thank you. Tobias Harris, silver. Josh Vareo is saying that, uh, oh, he's actually back. Rowan Langford's back. You're a huge Celtics fan, and Langford looks promising. Yeah, we had a, a, a customer here yesterday who was in the shop, and I think he's from the Originally from the South Indiana area, I think where Langford is from. There's Wendell Carr Jr. And uh, is, he's a big fan of him too. It's supposed to be really good. That's for the Bulls. That goes to Andy. So we'll save one of these LeBrons too. Those are doing well. There's Gordon Hayward speaking of the Celtics. There's Gordon Hayward again. There's Carson Edwards. All right, and the last five blasters. Good luck, everybody. Bonilla, do I think Towns will be a warrior soon? Carl Anthony Towns? Has that rumor been, been going around? Really? Why would... Why does Minnesota want to... Isn't Carl Anthony Towns their best asset on the team? I'd build around Carl Anthony Towns. Unless Carl Anthony Towns... Oh, Carl Anthony Towns wants to leave. I see. And he wants to play with D'Lo. Well, is there any guarantee that, that D'Angelo Russell is going to be on that team? Because a lot of speculation when D'Angelo Russell was was signed was that, was that he would just kind of be a placeholder for... Clay Thompson, and well, and now Steph Curry, but Clay Thompson. And that they, they could possibly trade him to someone else, you know, before the deadline in February. But if he's staying, well, well, what assets do, does what assets does the Warriors have? To get Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, they haven't had a high draft pick in a long time. They've probably been trading draft picks, right? If, if anything. Like, does Jordan Poole move and Eric Pascal move the needle for Minnesota? Oh, they have a first, I guess they have a first round pick this year. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. They're not, they're not playing well. Gosh, that would be interesting. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, if 
if I'm the Warriors and I can just if I could give up a first round pick to get Carl Anthony Towns, if that's all it took, maybe Jordan Poole and someone else, I'd do it. But yeah, the money gets a little weird as as obvious saying. But with D'Lo, Towns, Clay, and Thompson, Draymond, etc., and then whoever else they have to do, but. They got a brand new stadium. They got a brand new arena. You know what I mean? So maybe they're getting enough revenue where they'll just eat the tax or whatever you eat in, in the NBA. Whatever is collectively bargained. Maybe green goes. Carlton Towns is great. I think I think that would be a great move. For the Warriors, but I don't know. That that'd be a little frustrating for for Minnesota fans, I would imagine. But if Minnesota gets rid of Carl Anthony Towns, I mean you're pretty much getting rid of everybody after that, right? Well, I mean they were in the playoffs not too long ago, like two years ago. I mean, they, they were at least in the playoffs, so it's not like they were too... Yeah, you're pretty much getting rid of everybody except for Jarrett Culver, right? That's what I would do. If, if, you're, if you're moving towns, then you start moving everybody for assets. At whatever you can get. Everyone except for Jarrett Culver, basically. Maybe you keep a Kogie and Kata Bates Diop just because they're still relatively young. But yeah, move Napier, move Wiggins, move Trayvon Graham. You don't need to move Covington. I'm looking at their depth chart. Move Teague. All right, last five boxes. And then maybe you get a high high draft pick with uh, that Warriors pick. And then you add a you add another maybe lottery pick there. And then you start over. There's Damari Carroll. Actually, that's not too bad. Jared Culver, a couple other young guys. And a new draft pick. Damari Carroll going to Greg and the Nets. There's Kyrie Green. Sekou Demboya, nice rookie silver for the Pistons. That'll go to Jennifer. One of her last spot mojo teams. There's Zion, instant impact. There's Otto Porter Jr., Bulls. That'll be for Andy. There's Gorgie Yang for the Timberwolves. Speaking of the Timberwolves, Carl Malone, Silver. There's Michael Bridges, Larry Bird, Clint Capella. Yeah, Browns, Cleveland Browns, Ray, you're right. Clean and house. Freddie Kitchen's gone on Sunday. Looks like GM John Dorsey gone today. There's Dion Waiters. There's Jerry Culver. And there's Deang again, speaking of the Timberwolves. That'll be for Mark Matheson. With a couple T-Wolves there. And you'll get all those Jarrett Culver base rookie cards as well. No silvers for the T Wolves, though, I'm afraid. Not yet, anyway. We got Markel Fultz silver for the Magic. That'll be for uh, Greg Darby in Orlando. Got Eric Gordon, Rockets. That's for Mark Matheson. Another relic there. Nikhil Alexander Walker, Jackson Hayes, Donovan Mitchell Silver for Mark and the Jazz, Stephen Adams Relic for OKC, Bill Bell with that one, John Wall Green. 
Zion Instant Impact, and Enos Cantor at the end. Thanks very much, everybody. That was your 2019-2020 uh, Panini Prison Basketball Blaster Edition break. Random team break number one. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. We will. Uh, we may have some more of this. I thought I saw another case in the back. I'm not sure what Nick intends to do with it, but if it's on the site, keep checking the site, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.